Hey everyone, this is Dan Zarzicki from Slocum Studio and Slocum Themes, and I'm here today to show you how you can easily create a beautiful little real estate website using either our Modern Estate and Modern Estate Pro themes. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you this test real estate site that I've created in a very short time. I'm going to show you how we can replicate that using our themes and using the power of WordPress. You can go to our Slocum theme site and find Modern Estate free. I'm sure we'll link it in the video on YouTube. Um, and you're just gonna download now. This is gonna take you to the WordPress repo where you can actually download it for free right from the WordPress repository. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna download that file. Now that we have that theme, we're actually going to go to Appearance, Themes, and we're gonna add a new theme, upload a theme, and we're going to choose the file from our hard drive. In this case, Modern Estate, right there. And then we'd install. Now we already have the uh, theme installed on our site, so you know once it installs, you just click Activate and go to the next step. So the next thing that's going to happen after we've done that is it's going to prompt you to download what's called Easy Real Estate. It's a plugin found in GitHub. It's actually a plugin that we've created to work exclusively or specifically with uh, the Modern Estate and Modern Estate Pro themes. We'll also link this, but you go right to the GitHub site and you can actually download it right from here. So we're going to go to our dashboard. We're going to go to Plugins, Add New, and we're going to upload the plugin, just like we did with the theme. Choose the file, upload it from there, and activate it. Now that we've done that, now that we've gotten everything we need to, to create this site, we're actually going to optimize it and make it look like we want to. Um, so with our themes and with Modern Estate Pro and uh, free, you're going to go to Appearance, Theme Options, and we have a few tabs for you. Now it's important to note that I'm going to be using Modern Estate Pro here, but I will be telling the differences and explaining what you can do um, you know, only with Modern Estate Pro as we go forward. Uh, so we can upload a logo. And this works for Modern Estate Pro or free. We just choose a logo and we pick a logo from our computer. Now I already put it in here, but you're going to want a PNG and a PNG with a translucent background as that's going to fit the best with any color combinations or any color changes you might make to the site at a later time. With Modern Estate Free, you get the choice of blue or gray color for the color scheme. These other color scheme options, which have been custom made to take advantage of the theme, are only available with Modern Estate Pro. Uh, we're going to select purple to make it look like the mock that we had before. And make sure that you save your options when you're done. We have the save button right down here. Our free and pro themes also tap into the power of the customizer. You get a few more options with the pro version, um, but you can actually go right to appearance, customize, and actually tweak the colors manually as well if you want to create your own color scheme. So we can go in here and we could make this green, use the background color to this if we want to. You can do what you want with it and change the colors and play um, and get it the way you want it to look. And then save and publish when you're all set. You might have noticed that we had um, a cool little widget area here with contact information. So the way that works is we actually have a widget area uh, called header call to action. Um, and we actually do have a few widget areas included with any of our themes here. And Modern Estate and Modern Estate Pro are no different. We have your front page option, which is actually where you can put specific widgets that will display on your front page, which we'll get to in a moment. And we also have the header call to action. Now we've actually styled the text box, which is a standard widget that comes with WordPress, um, to style like it you just saw on the site. So all you do is write in uh, what you want to do here. Um, it does require a bit of HTML knowledge. For example, here we're linking to a specific place. Um, but as long as you automatically add the paragraphs and then just type the text in, it will automatically center it, um, size the text appropriately, things like that. Just make sure you save your content when you're ready. And that's the end result right here. The next thing you'll notice is your featured property section and testimonial section. That brings us to the next uh, segment of setting up your site is actually creating the properties that you want to sell with your real estate website. And that's super easy as well. With the easy real estate plugin and the reason why we made you download it earlier, um, there is a new custom post type section called properties. So this is separate of posts and pages that you might be more familiar with. There's actually properties as well as testimonials and agents that come included with easy real estate. Again, a free plugin. What you're going to do, and we already have one here we're going to show you, is you're going to add a property and you're going to edit it like so. This taps into the power of WordPress, so if you're familiar with editing content and other facets, uh, you can do it easily here as well. Your title goes up here. We recommend titles that are a little bit more descriptive, less about the actual address of the place. You put your content here. We also recommend putting image galleries. Now, image galleries are interesting. Um, the way you get to image galleries on a new line in WordPress is you go to Add Media, Create Gallery, and then you select photos from your, your, you know, your library and you create a gallery out of those. 
Where easy real estate really takes off is with the property information, which is right below the content. With property information, by default, you can detect if it's for sale, for rent, um, or clear that option. You can set the property price or the price of the property. If you have a video on YouTube, we highly recommend video content. You can enter the video URL here and it will display that as well. For a short highlight um, or a mission statement or a vision about the property that you're listing, we have a highlight section. And you can even add an image slider using the popular Soliloquy uh, image slider plugin. Additionally, you can uh, enter other information like the address of the place, which will show up on Google Maps, uh, city state, to the zip code. And also by default, you have other property information like the MLS number, which is a very important thing, the square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, and just a little bit about the basement. Is it finished, unfinished, things like that. We also tap into the WordPress featured image. So if you go to the featured image section on the right, you just upload the image you want to select. In this case, we already have an image selected from our library here. And then update or publish when you're all set. So what does this look like on the front end? Well, it looks like this. You have a beautiful big image, uh, which we do highly recommend having beautiful big images. You have your Google map right here. Some of the information about the address, the bedrooms and bathrooms listed in the price, and then all the information listed down here on the sidebar. Easy information, easy for somebody to access it. Super easy, we just typed in a few fields after downloading that plugin. You'll notice your highlighted text is here. We have some text about the place, which we highly recommend optimizing, adding more text. This is just for example's sake. And here's your nice little image gallery so people can click in and, and view all sorts of images on the, on, the, on the property. Setting a featured property is very simple. If I'm looking at a property, I uh, will notice a post number on here. This post right here, this post ID is 89. And you can find the post ID in the URL. So when you're editing the property, you'll be able to see that post number. Going back to the widget section under Appearance Widgets, we actually have an area that comes built in with Modern Estate called Featured Content. What you do is you select a property from the list of post types. We, we titled this Featured Property. It makes sense. We're going to show the featured image. You can change how much, how much of the text is shown on the front end. And remember that number we chose earlier, the number of the actual property was 89 by post. We just type that number in here where it says only include these posts. You could also include multiple properties. So if you wanted to have a bunch of properties or you wanted to display, let's say, six properties on the front end and you had six properties available, that number would be available here and you'd be able to select six properties and display them all on the front. You can also change the size of the widget. We're going to use large here and we'll save when we're all set. We also have a random testimonials widget which allows you to put in random testimonials here and it will display a testimonial from your list of testimonials. So you can go to the testimonials section or custom post type and create testimonials just like you'd create any other content. In the testimonial section, we have the name, the headline of the testimonial, the short testimonial on the content, and then some specific testimonial credits. So there you have it. We have your logo, your contact area, so somebody can call you or email you so you don't lose your client um, before they get to MLS and go somewhere else. We have a featured property section where we could click either here or there and go to the property. And we have a testimonial down here as well. Let's click on this property. And here's your featured property as you've seen before. For any additional questions on Modern Estate or uh, Modern Estate Pro, how to use the Easy Real Estate plugin, things of that nature, please feel free to contact us at slocumthemes.com contact. Thank you very much.